I'll tell you what, folks, it's uh, 701. We're going to get this started. Welcome to Rotary Club of Arcata Sunrise, friends and Rotarians. Have we any visiting Rotarians this morning? I haven't seen any come on the call. How about Rotaract members or Interact members? I know we have some here. I'm going to have one. Sari, any friends would like to introduce yourself for Interact? Hi, I'm Sari. I'm president of Interact. I'm not sure if anyone else is here today. Thanks for being here. And uh, guests of Rotarians. <clears throat> I have, uh, oh, go ahead. So Sorry. Uh, I'm Ben McLaughlin. I'm a guest of Ilan Furpo. And Elon is hopping on right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Here she comes. There you go. So Elon is from the Southwest Rotary um, group. So I'm going to mute because we're both in the same room. So we don't get a big echo <laughs> for you guys. Thank you very much. Greg, I see you had an introduction there. I do. I uh, And I'll do a longer one later when uh, she's our today's program. But I have Leslie Coffin on. Thanks for being here, Leslie. And I did see Dustin just hop on the call, uh, hopping back to the beginning of this whole thing, our district governor extraordinaire, Dustin Littlefield for District 5130. Morning, all. Good to see y'all. Good morning. Any other guests this morning? Yes, we have a couple people. Um, I think um, uh, we have, well, let's start with um, Mike introducing his guest. Nira is here with me as usual. Thank you. Hi, Nira. And I see in the chat, uh, Robin, are you uh, able to say hello? Hi, my name's Robin. I'm here for my third week as a guest. I'm working on my membership with AJ next week. Excellent. Thank you. And I understand uh, Sophie introduced you to the club? That's true. Yep. Excellent. All right. Any others you see there, Maggie? I don't think so. All right. Maggie, can I announce myself now that I'm on? I got on Maggie, a little late. Please. Hi, Maggie and Ian. This is Elon from Southwest in Eureka. And um, I'm here and I also want to introduce my friend, Ben, who already announced himself a little bit. Ben's running for judge of the Superior Court. So I'm going around to the Rotaries and introducing him. Um, but I'm also just happy to be here and good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Elon. Thank you both for being here. Thank Good you. to see you. you know, it's rare anymore, but, uh, you know, thanks to Terry, I get mail. And then our club gets mail sometimes, too. So we got a couple of letters uh, just this last week that Sophie forwarded to me, uh, one from the Wheelchair Foundation that uh, we donate regularly to. And uh, their thanks for our ongoing donations to the foundation that provides wheelchairs uh, for people that could not otherwise access them. And then we had a thank you note from uh, Leaf at uh, Redwood Coast Montessori. He thanks us for connecting them with Danco and helping to uh, dig the holes for their garden fence. Uh, it's probably not readable up there on the screen, but uh, they do have a uh, functional fence up and they're just setting the gate holes so that they can start planning where to start the garden and start putting in a pathway. So. It's nice to hear from the folks in the community that we've been helping. And back in January, we had quite a few birthdays, which makes me think that uh, springtime is, you know, that time of the year. But let's talk about <laughs> anybody who enjoyed their birthday in January. I see you on the call, Scott. Why don't we start with you? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I was actually home in California for my birthday and had a great dinner with friends and I spent some time uh, working on our house there. Yeah, it was a good all-around uh, day and week and month of my birthday. <laughs> it was all good. Thank you. Great. Glad you got to hop back to the States here. Uh, Randy, I saw you on the call. <laughs> good morning. Uh, I, I, I think we probably went to Larrapin, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, I, I think we probably went to Larrapin. I'm not sure. It happens, Randy. It's the first thing to go, you know. It, it really you is. Know, you know, yeah. <laughs> You're a rotary, by the way. 
And uh, Linda does uh, always have internet connection troubles, but uh, she is, I'm sure, hopefully enjoyed her birthday. Uh, Brian, I didn't know if I saw Brian on the call. Are you there? <clears throat> That's okay. Uh, Rachel, didn't see yeah. Rachel. Yeah. Oh, you are here. Oh, I'm here. Sorry. Running around getting Isaac ready. <laughs> um, <laughs> Full chase mode, right? Yeah. What, is, he, yeah. is Isaac already ready going to, to school or what? What's, what's, what's no, he, he, goes, for? he goes to grandma's today. So she meets <laughs> me at my office and then she takes him all day and then drops him back off. So I'm very lucky. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, how but did he help you celebrate your birthday? It was also his birthday in January. It was also Casey's. So it was a wild month. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. But we went to Angelina, which I hadn't done in a really long time, and it was tasty. And then um, over the weekend, I did some tie dye with some uh, like a group of a small group of friends. So I uh, hadn't done tie dye since middle school, and uh, that was really fun. <laughs> Excellent, a uh, humble tradition, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, uh, Sophie. Are you on the call? Uh, yeah, I am. Here you are. Um. Let's see, we got, we had a little staycation. We got an Airbnb with um, outdoor soaking tubs and then Augustine made me a really fancy steak. So it was a good night <laughs> and yeah. That sounds really nice. And Amy, are you here? Didn't see Amy. Didn't see Amy, okay. Well, thanks everybody. Uh, Dick, we, you, we'll just do this open mic. Uh, let's do a little happy birthday. It's been a while since we did that. Everybody's mic's out. Can you unmute everybody, Maggie? We'll see how this catastrophe wow. happens. <laughs> what do you see? I think, oh, no. I'm Here not allowed to unmute people. Okay. Well, whoever would like to unmute and let's uh, give us a note there, Dick. I guess I got to unmute first. Hey, wait a second. Happy wait a second. To to you. You. Happy birthday to you. To you. To you. Happy birthday, all you road trippers! Happy birthday to you! I just was going to say, it, a lot of people didn't unmute; they just lip synced. And so it, I, I apologize that you could hear me because usually I can be drowned out. But. It's okay. not that, that was that was the finest mashup ever and i'm sure we've now destroyed their birthdays but uh we had a couple of anniversaries in january uh, is melinda here today if not that's okay i see howard on the call though how was your anniversary howard <clears throat> uneventful we uh, uh just had a good supper at home and we've been going on a number of interesting trips in the past few months. So that was our anniversary celebration. Thanks. Thanks for recognizing it though. Say hi to Rebecca for us. Oh, well. We got a, uh, a notice from a activity beyond the club. Uh, Rotary Foundation does what's called a peace fellowship. They're a master's and a certificate program uh, two parallel programs where uh, Rotarians can nominate folks to participate as a, uh, a peace fellow. And it is a academic uh, setting. And I will send out to the club the, <clears throat> the information and the forms in case you happen to know anybody. Unfortunately, it just came out and the applications had to be submitted by May 2022. And there's a bit of a process, but I'll get that out to everybody later today so that you can take a look at it and see if there's somebody you know who you think would make a great Rotary Peace Fellow. Uh, we do have the bylaws update circulating now. Uh, we've received some comments. Thank you for those that have uh, submitted their uh, interest or information or questions or concerns. Please let us know. Uh, Yesterday, we sent out the full <clears throat> club roster and uh, committee and executive and board chart. So you know who to contact if you've got uh, any input on that. Uh, that'll be circulating for another few weeks here. Looking ahead, opportunities for service above self. Uh, we are still and now seeking two Rotary Youth Exchange host families for the 2022-2023 year. Uh, so if you would like to mentor somebody starting very soon to become treasurer in 2023, 
future sergeant at arms. Nick is uh, looking for somebody to mentor. And then uh, just last uh, night, I got a word from <clears throat> our World Community Service, uh, one of the co-chairs that we'll be seeking another co-chair. So there's great opportunity for uh, service there at that capacity. And then of course, chairs or co-chairs for membership uh, as uh, um, Brandy uh, passes that torch and uh, youth activities has still Mentor been- Mentorship, mentorship. Mentorship, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's my typo. <laughs> Thank you. And then youth activities is still seeking a chair. And we, I, I assume that uh, Vanessa probably plans to re fully fund that uh, committee in the next year. So it'd be great if we have a chair to carry that forward. Also under service above self, you know, this, this is a beautiful shot of beautiful people in the morning, uh, Maggie and Romy and Vanessa and Amanda, would you like to say something about what you're up to here? Well, we were doing the point in time count where a one day um, nationally, every two years, we all go out early in the morning across the country and we try to ascertain how many people are living unsheltered uh, or in vehicles. And so we, um, four of us helped with this in Arcata and a special shout out to Vanessa and Amanda, who I think did a cross country, um, uh, they, well, they traipsed through the woods quite a bit. So, um, but it, it was it was good for us to do it. And um, I don't know if any of them want to just say how what they felt about it. But that's what we were doing. This is a before picture. I can't speak for Vanessa, but uh, I think we had a really rewarding experience. We had Redwood Park, so um, at least a big chunk of our time was spent hiking through the forest. We were, we were unsuccessful finding people in the forest, which I guess is a good thing and a bad, you know. But we had a great, we had a great walk in the forest after we hit campus and kind of all those, that area. Yeah, it was a beautiful morning. And it, yeah. Well, thank you for being out there. Romy, did you have anything to add to that? Well, I think the really important thing is that um, these are members of our community and being counted brings in resources, being documented helps bring in resources for homelessness services and, and housing services and all kinds of other services. So if you ever hear about that point in, <laughs> count thing, point in time count thing happening again, just raise your hand. And, you know, and we really need to help some of these people. I mean, all of these people get off the streets. Um, and get resources because we just had a, a fellow murdered, um, a homeless fellow murdered uh, here in Arcata. And it, it just, this isn't okay. It is just not okay. So um, please what, you know, reach out your hearts and your wallets if you can to support, to support the work that people are doing to help these folks. It could be any of us. So true. Thank you all four of you for getting up. I, I know that it looks like daylight in that picture. However, those are those super bright uh, arc lamps behind you. I, I know it's just at the crack of dawn there. So thanks for getting out there and uh, helping assure that these people have a voice uh, by understanding that they're there and they need the help. So thank you. Uh, also, we have a note on service above self from Lisa regarding backpacks for kids. She had some things she wanted to say here. So first, I wanted to um, thank, uh, give a shout out to those that have signed up this winter season. Um, Romy has signed up, signed up for a couple of times already. And Sarah Heller, she did two weeks in a row. Marty signed up for next week. Stephanie Lane has stepped forward. And it's just great to have everybody participate. And we just, we appreciate it so much. Um, John sends out the Sign Up Genius every week. And there's still about six weeks left until the end of March for the winter season to sign up. And um, it's just a great way to give back to your community. And I really, um, I'd like to just thank everybody that's been out there and just pushing to keep this backpack for kids all together. Cause I know it's difficult cause we're not meeting, but it, we're still keeping it going. And I just really want to just thank everyone for all of it. And Mike Pazian also, he's just been, amazing and his family they're there all the time you know to help pack if you ever need them and it's just keeping it going so i'm going to send out um, another sign up and those of you that can step up that would be great thank you thank you and john did, did she say you're sending out the sign ups every week um 
I'm just curious if anybody's seeing those. I, I, I haven't, and maybe that's my fault in my junk bin, but. Uh, nope, I just hit send. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I, I did just send it to the folks on the winter list, um, right. but actually what, I'll go ahead and send it to, to everybody in case anybody wants to, to pick up dates that they're not on the list for. Thank you. I forgot yeah. to split into uh, seasons, so to speak. So, and that's another thing is just because you're part of a certain, I just divided into three different groups, but it'll go out to everyone and anybody can sign up. It doesn't, you don't have to be in that group. You might not be able to do it in the springtime so that you can participate in the winter group. You know, just whoever we can get to volunteer, it just really helps keep the program going. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, those that have been picking up, uh, what just so others understand or dropping off, what's what's the time uh, commitment there to, to go pick up from Food for People or to drop off once packed from the schools? So pickup is from um, 12 to 1230. It's a short window that they have. And that started with COVID when they had to cut back on services. Um, so usually it's 12 to 1230 and then and it's on Wednesdays. And I actually, when I send out my list, which I'll send it out and I'll copy you, Ian, this time, um, there's instructions and the, and the times to pick up and the locations of where to deliver and options. You can deliver, you can pack and deliver on Wednesdays before three to the schools and or you can pack Wednesday evening and deliver Thursday mornings to the schools. So it's sort of up to you. Excellent. And I'll, I'll just and pipe in when I do it. Oh, can you mute? Yeah. volume down sorry <laughs> um <clears throat> it's about 10 minutes if you bring the volume all the way down 10 minutes to um pick up the food packing takes about an hour hour and a half if it's only two people and then drop off really goes so smooth and it i always plan for an hour and it takes me a half an hour so it's really not a massive time commitment and right when we're done packing, I always put the bags into my car. So literally in the morning, it's ready to go. So anybody who <clears throat> is thinking, oh, it might be too much. It is a super um, small commitment and a big impact. Thank you, Stephanie. And I think it's important for anyone who, who's on the call that doesn't know what we're talking about. The schools designate certain kids that they notice come back after the weekend, um, not having had proper nutrition and it affects every aspect of their lives. And so our partnership with the food bank is to pick up the food. We individually put it into bags so that those kids just quietly on Friday get or Thursday get to grab that bag on the way out the door, no big notice, um, and, and then have good food over the weekend. So it's an incredible, incredibly needed service that is relatively easy for us to fulfill. It is. Well, thank you so much for everybody who gets behind it. Uh, our club does put a considerable amount of funding into it uh, and it's worthy of doing so. Thanks for everybody who participates. The fellowship, uh, I'm sure that uh, Chris and Tammy may have some updates here on what's happening. Well, we do. Now that we know I who's in it. Well, I was hoping Tammy was on the call. We were going to go back and forth a little bit and talk about it. Uh, yeah, here. I'm here. Oh, good. Yeah. I got a, All right. Excellent. So, Tammy, why don't you go ahead and make the announcement? I'll just shut up and be quiet. Yeah. So, we usually kind of try to avoid the Super Bowl, but um, this year we decided to go ahead and just have a fellowship uh, and it, it will count for attendance. If you come, we're looking for, we have, a, we're gonna have somebody host each quarter. Um, so you can just kind of come in as you can. Um, sorry, I'm right next to a fan. I'm trying to get away from it. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna have squares. Um, if any of you have played that game before and you can buy them through Nick. And I, I'm gonna have Ian send out an email with logistics but we are still looking for anybody interested in hosting and um go ahead chris oh uh, tamara uh, brandon's uh, uh uh piped in and he's going to uh, uh host i think the second quarter uh so i was looking around the room is there anybody here who wants to raise their hand who wouldn't mind a couple of people zooming in for one quarter into their living room and see what's happening and watch that 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 game for a while then pass it off to brandon and the 
second quarter, or maybe somebody wants to take it in the third quarter or, or halftime. I'm not seeing a lot of hands host, go is, up. Come is on. It, is it true that as a host, uh, you get to provide the uh, commentary of choice? Oh, yeah. You get to show everybody <laughs> what you're drinking and, and what they're not and have fun Definitely. with that. And chips Definitely. and all sorts of things. I mean, it's just going to be a good time to, to hang out socially. Now, you know, unfortunately, 49ers are not there, but it's really a, a great time. Most of the time, you don't really uh, – the Super Bowl is not as exciting as it once was, but it's still sometimes, especially if it's going to be raining or something like that, you end up – sitting around maybe what a great time to join in your friends so who's going to raise their hand in that group i'm looking on this screen a bunch of little squares i'm on i want to see some hands dustin yours is not up there jeff yours isn't up there tom amanda janice come on i don't even have cable i can't get the game <laughs> anyway give us some thought it should be easy we're just going to pass the time from room to room on the zoom meeting greg you look like you're ready Thanks. We'll put that out there, uh, Tammy and uh, Chris. Thank you very much for organizing yeah, it. And I'll, Nick, I'll just end up posting if nobody else does, but it'd be nice. Count to me in, some, count me in for the fourth quarter. Okay. The oh, oh, Greg, yeah. Thank you so thank much. You. Yeah. I have no idea are. what I just signed up for, but I will do it. I'll be at my parents, <laughs> so they'll bring them as well. Perfect. Okay, I, and I see Maggie's jumped up up there as well. She's going to host a quarter, so we'll get those assigned. Greg, you're on the fourth quarter. Or, um, uh, Brandon's going to be on the second. It's going to be turn off to be a great fun time. Anyway, yeah, you can, you can put me down 10 for one. A pop, and that means you might make as much as four hundred dollars if you win that uh, final quarter. Is the way we're looking at it, unless we don't get enough people to buy, you know, throw ten bucks in. So, do we do we start Venmoing now? Can we start Venmoing for our quarters? By the way, you can, and that'd be great uh, after you do your raffle donation today. Then we can start the ten dollars, so we don't want to interrupt the raffle. This is a separate item. And um, you don't have to get just one square. You can buy two or three squares if you want to improve your odds. So it's a great way. And you don't need to be present to win. Anyway. Nick, Nick uh, what would you like those uh, demos tagged as? Or uh, signed? They should be uh, written as like Super Bowl squares or something like that. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Uh, Chris should tell us how the squares are going to be allotted. Oh yeah, you see this lovely chart here that Ian showed well, up. Uh, here? Sorry, Chris. Let me um, let me interrupt real quick. Um, yep. If you're donating any money on Venmo, don't click goods and services because then that charges the club a fee. So just do it as a regular thing. Um, or else you'll it'll only send us partial money and the club will end up paying some money for that. So when it says like click good and services, don't don't click that option. So, so this is a really a random deal when it comes to these squares. Nick's going to get some names. We're going to just put uh, names in each one of those little squares. And before the game, uh, what happens is they we just assign numbers, you know, random. Uh, zero through nine, right across the top and right across the, the, the side of the chart. And those are the two different teams. And whatever those two numbers equal, uh, as each quarter gets done, we'll have a different winner. So it's all random. It's all just fun. Uh, it's easy to do. And again, there's $200 per quarter and $400 at the final quarter. Uh, I understand Lisa says I'm good for three squares right now. Uh, so get your squares together. Join the fun or just get some money later. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks again for organizing it. We appreciate it. Hey, the date and impress your date. Um, Angela had uh, come up with a great idea to uh, supplement some of our spring fundraising efforts. And uh, she'd like to tell us about what's coming up next week on the 11th. Good morning. So next week on the 11th, I will have at least two, maybe three um, complete Valentine's Day um, themed packages. Um, so it will be, it's a wine box full of Valentine's Day um, focused items. Uh, so it's, it'll be like wine and dinner and flowers. And um, it's, uh, I had, I got some jewelry donated from Haleashi. And Jackson. Sorry about that. And um, so they'll each be valued around um, $600. Everything has been donated. 
and it's they'll be really complete even down to the card um so all you'll have to do is sign the card and present your Valentine's Day gift. And so I'm hoping this to be a supplemental type of um, fundraiser for our group. Um, I'm hoping to have three, but I'm, some places have not yet. They said they would donate, but I don't know what I'm getting. So um, I hope that everybody else is going to be enthusiastic about our auction next Friday. And um, that's it. Thank you, Angela. And I, I got to say, Angela came up with this idea, went forward with it, and uh, said, "Here's what we're doing," and we're like, "Oh, that's cool. Thank you." So <laughs> nicely done, Angela, um, for just getting it done. Thank you. And uh, Dustin, I, you know, I've still got you here. Um, I saw something flash by on social media, and it, I, 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 you know, as as things happen, it disappeared after I saw it, so I couldn't capture it. But it was a a big mural it looked like of some uh nice uh 50s hairdos there and I, i'm curious is that a prequel to your upcoming uh district conference <laughs> you know uh all of those people uh, if they were alive today they would be invited 100 percent. that was a uh, uh, i thought so that was a mural of uh, uh richie valens and buddy holly and the big bopper uh yesterday was the anniversary of their uh, uh unfortunate plane crash Day the music died. Um, so as a rockabilly fan and a music fan, uh, I saw that uh, mural and I was like, that's just, I, I want to see it in person now. It's on my bucket list to even get there and get a photo in front of that. But I uh, I threw it up there just as a uh, as a shout out to them. So uh, yeah, thanks for mentioning that. Of course. And uh, since we're on Save the Dates, uh, remind us, when is your rockabilly um Yes, Just yes. The, the Rockabilly theme concert that will be is at uh, Fortuna River Lodge uh, live in person May 20th and 21st. So that's a Friday and a Saturday. So we're now setting up all kinds of uh, um, uh, uh, project opportunities and speakers and social opportunities. And, uh, you know, the River Lodge is a wonderful, beautiful place and it's a local event this year. So, you know, it, it gives us all a chance to go and show up and have fun, and I think this may be the first time we get to get together as a as a district and uh, and mingle and and see each other and and shake hands. So this uh, uh, it's going to be a great opportunity for those who are new to Rotary. Uh, this could be your uh, first experience of a district conference. For if you don't know what it is, it's uh, at the end of each year. I kind of like at the near end of each year in May. Uh, we celebrate uh, what we've done throughout the year in our district and get together and, and recognize uh, the contributions that we've done and, and, uh, and have fun and, uh, and have some speakers and it's a really good time. So we're looking forward to it this year and it's in our own backyard. So uh, thanks for letting me plug that. I'll plug it as many times as uh, I need and uh, let's make it a fun one. So. Absolutely. Thank you, Dustin. And we're, we're really glad we're getting to the point where that's going to be able to be happening. So um I assume there's be a sign up coming out pretty shortly here. Yeah, registration and uh, hotel blocks will be coming out soon. So great. All right. Thanks, Dustin. Next, uh, we're going to take a quick moment and vote on our spring fundraiser. As a reminder, uh, the winning idea, uh, whoever brought it or whoever's brought it, get to uh, decide how to spend $500 toward our community foundation funds. And whoever then latches onto that idea and chairs or co-chairs gets to decide another thousand dollars worth of club funds toward club related activities. So uh, without further ado, here's a sample of what the ballot's gonna look like in a moment when it pops up on screen. Um, if any of the idea bringers want to take a quick, very quick moment and recap, uh, Chris, uh, I believe you were behind the Arcata High School Carnival and the big top for the co-fundraiser. Um, and uh, well, my, my two cents on that is I, I think that's a, uh, a neat item in the community to, to support. It's being developed. It's going to be able to be used by many people. And I think there's not just the track there, but there's probably different uh, things that might need to be still purchased on that uh, in that re recreational area for everybody. So that's kind of what my thought was. But these are all fantastic ideas, I think, in their own right. Understood. AJ and Dorceva, did you want to take a moment and recap? 
Uh, yeah, the spring concert uh, in the plaza would just be a, a musical event where we um, look to recruit um, local um, student talent as well as uh, local um, uh, musicians um, who perform in our area. And uh, um, it would include normal, like the silent auction or a live auction online, food, um, and we'd find sponsors for the for picnic areas um, all, um, out on the plaza. Um, and I think uh, there was a late uh, potential collaboration with Food for People. Uh, they're looking for uh, kind of a finale to their um, walk, and that could be a potential uh, um, partnership with uh, that organization. Got it. Thank you. And then uh, Dustin and Ashley brought uh, the idea of Dustin Offfield guard, Golf Tournament that we had to cancel last fall. Dustin, you want to say a, a moment on that? Yeah, yeah. So it's actually the, the Sunrise Summer Scramble. And uh, initially when we planned this out, it was to replace our spring fundraiser. Uh, it's a really fun way to uh, get outdoors and, and raise some money at the same time. The uh, lovely thing about this is, you know, we've done it before. We're not reinventing the wheel here. The You know, we, we gear this golf tournament around having fun. There's a bit of a competitive element to it, but it's for everybody. Uh, and, you know, when we did it the first year, we had oysters and pizza and, you know, and we had Greg uh, on the whole one announcing people as they teed off. And so uh, it's a really, really great event. It's really easy to put on. We have a committee around it. Uh, it's a known quantity. We know we can make around $20,000 around it. And even more now that we uh, uh, that we can get more people involved. When we first put this together, uh, you know, it was during the, the darkest times of our shutdown. We had nothing. And, and now here we are and we know how to create a safe, fun, open event. Uh, and it's uh, and it's 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 really easy to put on. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I'll be able to put some energy into it as much as I can, but we have a, a, a great committee around it. And like I said, we have the book for it. We know what to do and uh, it's uh, exciting. And you know how we like to make things fun and uh, uh, we could definitely spice this golf tournament up and, uh, uh, and add any kind of component of fun uh, we'd like to and bring anyone else in that we'd like to uh, partner with. So there you have all it. Right. Thank you everybody. So just so we're all clear, these are all great ideas and thank you for brainstorming and bringing them just because uh, there's only one winning idea here doesn't mean that we can't incorporate elements into whichever one it is. And these ideas don't go away, hang on to them. Whichever ones we're not doing this spring, hang on to them and bring them forward because uh, I think they all have great merit. So here comes the poll, we'll just take a moment and uh, it should come up on your screen there. There it goes. I'm not seeing where I get to vote. I'm only seeing. I think you and I as a host, uh, unfortunately don't get to, but if you want oh, to okay. put your vote in the chat there, that would be uh, okay. probably. We're at 70% participated now, 73. Almost done. Thanks everybody for getting in there. Do, do we have a, a second ballot for Lisa? Well, no. <laughs> or for me. <laughs> he put it in the chat. I'll just, I'll, just, I'll, yeah. I'll put, we'll put uh, mine in the chat. No, there we won't. Go. I'll put, yeah. Just, I, I just Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 85, anybody else? Uh, you know, we're, we're going to make this quick, but uh, want everybody who has the ability to please submit your vote there. Oh, 35 out of 35, 100% answered. So, Dustin, congratulations. And uh, everybody else, thank you very much for bringing these ideas. I really mean it. They're great ideas. And I think uh, the golf tournament committee would love it if you bring some of that into the golf tournament. You know, there, there may be components, maybe under spring concerts. Well, what if there's musicians at some of the tees or at the, uh, the check-in? Um, under the big top, you know, Chris, uh, I do think there's potential there for uh, co-oping a fundraiser with uh, Arcata High and yeah. to, to help with that sports complex. So let's find ways to participate in all ways. We're going to end that poll and uh, the golf tournament has it. Thank you, everybody. So uh, we'll put that out to the whole club and we will obviously be looking for chair or co-chair for that uh, fundraiser committee. We'll get this going because uh, spring is coming. 
Hey, uh, Ian, can I make a quick comment? I, I, yes, sir. Just a quick tally. We're at least about 15 or 16 or so of these squares already sold that I know of. So they're going to keep going. Uh, again, you can buy more than one. Uh, think about it. It should be fun. Keep Make it interesting, at least. Thank you, Chris. I bought two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, raffle time, Nick. Sorry, Nick, I may not have given a good cue. There you are. Thanks. Yep. That's all right. Um, all right. So uh, let's do uh, the raffle. And today's uh, big win is $30. So let's uh, let's see who's going to be with the winner. <clears throat> Awesome, and it's Tom. Let's see, five dollars, Tom. So I will send you five dollars through Venmo, and let's see the next one. All right, and Dennis. Let's go. Five dollars. So uh, I will put you both through Venmo. Thank you for playing, everybody, and uh, good luck with those squares. <laughs>